I do? Hello. Do you hear me, for fuck's sake? Are you still there? I'm still here. So talk to me. Or am I supposed to carry on this conversation with the crap I just took? What the fuck do I do? I'm leaving on a flight in four hours. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I can't hear a word you're saying. Hold on, I'm coming out. So what am I gonna do? I'm flying home. What do you mean you're flying home? For 33 years, I paid you to be my manager. All of a sudden, you're flying home? You're gonna leave me alone in this shithole? Frida's in a coma. Frida has doctors. I have a club date, which you booked. I didn't book me. You booked me. I do the jokes. You do the booking, right? I have always been there for you, Norman. I have never left you alone, my friend. Frida's in a coma. I don't think she's coming out. I'm flying home. Look, I know Frida's in a coma. But what difference does it make if you hear her there? What are you, a fucking doctor? Crying out loud. Let me tell you something you may not know, Norman. My father, may his soul rest in peace, worked his fingers to the bone to save enough money to send me to medical school. Eh? You didn't know that, did you? And then he dropped dead. You know why? Worked his ass off cutting cloth for some rich son of a bitch. You Kelman, Rothman, Rothberg, Nick fucking Rothberg, that prick. My old man worked for him in a factory with no fucking air. And he ate his lunch every day. Sat at that fucking sewing machine eating his lunch. Right? So he could put money on the table for my asshole ungrateful brother. And me, I land up telling fucking jokes in a shithole town like this instead of being in Florida, retired, living on a yacht, huh? I'm leaving. What leaving? Just like that, no explanation? She's gonna die. Do I have to explain to you what kind of a prick you are? What kind of a prick you've always been? Do you think it would do any good? I don't think so. You got that National Club gig tomorrow. You'll survive. Oh, I'll survive. But you walk out that fucking door, don't even think about coming back. If that's the way you want it. Oh, no. No, no, no. This is not my decision, Norman. This is your decision. Fucking show business, remember? The jokes come first. Walk out, it's over. Goodbye, Marty. Wait a minute. What about the towel joke? You can at least tell me how the towel joke went last night. Son of a bitch. Nobody walks out on Marty K. Your sandwich, sir. Would you like me to leave it inside? No, why don't I just eat it off the fucking floor? Of course, set it up. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. Here you go, kid. Now, wait a minute, kid. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Wait a minute. Come here. Guy goes to his rabbi. Excuse me, sir. It's a joke. I'm trying out a fucking joke. Where are you from, Poland? Belarus, yeah. Close enough, wherever the fuck that is. Guy goes to his rabbi. Says, every time I have sex with my wife, she doesn't have an orgasm. Rabbi says, OK, guarantee this will work. Go home, have sex with your wife. I'll send my kid over. He'll stand at the foot of the bed while you're having sex, wave a towel over his head, guarantee she'll have an orgasm. Guy went home, had sex with his wife. Kid waved a towel, <laughs> nothing. Goes back to the rabbi, says, Still no orgasm. Rabbi says, OK, guaranteed this will work. My son will have sex with your wife. You stand at the foot of the bed and wave the towel. Guy goes home. Kid has sex with his wife. Guy waves the towel. Wife has an amazing orgasm. Thank you, sir. You have a good evening. Guy looks at the kid and says, that's how you wave a towel. <laughs>